Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial video on creating and printing labels in Microsoft Word. Now this facility has been available in Word for many, many years, but I always find when it comes to things like creating envelopes, creating labels, there's still some mystery surrounding certain parts of it. So what I really want to do in this tutorial video is just to run through the process of creating a page of labels and explain to you exactly how it works and the different options that you have. So we're starting out here with a completely blank document, which is absolutely fine. And I'm going to jump up to the mailings ribbon. And if you look in that first group, the create group, we have two options. We can choose to create envelopes or we can create labels. And this is the option that we want. So let's click on labels. So the envelopes and labels dialog box is going to open and you can see that we've got two tabs at the top, envelopes and labels. It's jumped us straight to the correct one. Now there's a few options that we have on here that we need to complete. So the first one, the most obvious one, is we need to add an address onto our label. Now we'll say it doesn't necessarily have to be an address. You might be using these labels for something completely different. They might not necessarily be for fixing to packages or envelopes. It could be any kind of information, really. But whatever the information is, it needs to go into that address block. Now, if you also want to use a return address, you do have a use return address option up here. Now, you can see that when I've clicked that, it's actually populated my return address into this address area. And that's because I have my default return address set up in Word options. So let me very quickly cancel out of here and I'll just show you where that option is. So if we jump up to file to go into the backstage area and go all the way down to options. Now you'll find this in the advanced section. And if we scroll down, we want to go down to this general area. And you can see in mailing address, I've added in my company details in there. So essentially what that means is that every time I want to use a return address, it's going to populate that field with these details. Now, you definitely don't have to have something in here, but sometimes that can be a lot easier. It just means that you're not having to type out the address every single time. So let's cancel out there. Jump back into our labels option. Now, in this case, I don't want to use my return address as the address. This label is going to somebody else. So I'm going to untick that box and I'm going to type in the address that I want to appear on the label. Now, underneath, I have some other options. So it says print full page of the same label or I can choose to print a single label. So which option you select in here really depends on what it is that you want to do. So if you want a whole page of labels with the same address, so maybe you're sending lots of items to the same address, then you would select that first option. If you just want to print a single label, then you can select this option. Now, this is a bit misleading because it says single label, but then underneath you have row and columns. So essentially what you can do is you can specify the number of rows and the number of columns, and that really allows you to control how many labels you're printing. So for example, if I wanted six labels, I might do two rows with three columns, something along those lines. Now, in this case, I'm just going to do a full page of the same label. Now, the really important part here is within this options area. This is where you need to go to select the type of labels that you're using. Now, when you purchase labels, you'll be able to see the information related to the labels on the pack. So if it's a very specific brand, then you can select that brand from the label vendors list. And they have most of the top label brands in here. So things like Avery, they're a fairly popular label brand. So just make sure you go through and first select the correct label vendor. I'm just going to leave this on Microsoft. And then it's going to show you underneath in this product number area, it's going to show you all the different labels that that particular vendor does. So again, it's up to you to go through and select the correct vendor and the correct product number. And you can see over to the right of that, that's giving you all of the information with regards to the specific height and width of those labels. Now, 
If when you're scrolling through, maybe you can't find your label vendor, or maybe you found your label vendor, but you can't find the specific product number, you can enter in your label details manually by clicking the new label button. And this allows you to go in, you can give your label a name, and you could set the exact dimensions of the labels that you have. So it might involve getting out a ruler and measuring your labels or maybe just looking on the packaging, but somewhere you should be able to see what the label height is, label width, how many there are going across the page, number down, all of that kind of stuff. So you can essentially set up your own labels in the new label area. Now for this example, I'm just gonna choose Microsoft and I'm gonna say 30 per page. And I'm gonna click on Okay, now once you've set those settings, you're pretty much ready to start printing your labels if that's what you want to do. So at this stage, I would be going in and loading my labels into my printer. And what I could do is I could just click the print button and that's gonna send this information straight to the printer. Now in general, what I prefer to do is I prefer to see all of my labels first so I can see what they're going to look like before I send them to the printer. And this option is also good if you would like to save your labels as a document for reuse at another time. So what you can also do is click on the new document button and you can now see your labels in your document. And you'll see here we just have a whole page of labels with the same address in them. I'm now free to save this document if I want to or send it directly to the printer. Now in this example, we've used the same address for each label. Now it might be that you want to have a different address in each label. And in order to do that, you have a couple of different options and which one you choose will really depend on how many labels that you want to create. So I would say that if you have a large number of labels, maybe two, three, four hundred, something along those lines, you'd probably be better off doing a mail merge. And there is an option in Mail Merge to create labels specifically. So if you do have a high amount of addresses, then the Mail Merge option is probably going to be better for you, particularly if you have the addresses stored off in something like an Excel file, or maybe you want to pick them up from Outlook. Mail Merge is going to be the quickest and most efficient utility for you to use to produce these labels en masse. However, if you had maybe just five to 10 different addresses that you wanted to print labels for, you could go about this a slightly different way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a new blank document. I'm gonna go up to the mailings tab and I'm gonna click on labels. Again, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna make sure that I have my correct label vendor and my correct product number selected, which I do. I'm gonna click on okay but I'm not going to add an address this time. Instead, I'm just gonna click new document. And what that's gonna give me is essentially a blank template. Then what I can do is I can just go in and I can start typing in the names and addresses of the people that I want to create labels for. If I press the tab key and tab key again, it's gonna move me onto that next label. So sometimes, again, if you've got five to ten different ones that you want to do, this is going to be the quickest option. If you have a lot of labels to create, then mail merge is going to be the way that you do that. So that's it. Fairly straightforward how to create labels in Word. Thanks so much for listening, and I will see you in the next video. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project, and Photoshop, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.